What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today, another buyer's guide for you. Today we're talking Ned Rigs. I'm gonna cover it all. Baits, rod, hooks, everything. If you guys are looking to get into Ned Rig fishing, finesse fishing, today's video is for you. Let's jump in. So today we're actually at the park bench. Our favorite park table is taken, so you guys gotta have to put up with the, the bench. But uh, Ned Rig Fishing, again, it's one of my favorite confidence baits. If I'm on a body of water, a new body of water, or even a body of water that I'm very familiar with, and the bite is just slowing down and it's just not very good, a great way to check and catch fish is gonna be the Ned Rig. So, why the Ned Rig? You know, I guess the answer to that, you know, we've talked about it in multiple finesse videos before. It just looks like a little bit of a lot of things. It looks like a little bait fish, a little goby, a little crayfish, crawdad. It just looks like something very small on the bottom that bass eat. They just eat it. So today I got some, some five or six baits that I really want you guys to try. I got some rod and reels, some gear that I'm gonna go over. And, uh, and some hooks, some specialty hooks that I really think will improve your game. If you guys are just looking to get, to get into Ned Rig Fishing, or you guys are, are advanced and want a specific rod, a specific setup for this technique, today we got you covered. So let's start off with, uh, with, let's start off with rods. For most of my finesse fishing gear, most of my finesse fishing techniques, I like a longer rod lighter tip longer rod the two benefits for me for having the longer rod casting distance that's very important if you're fishing clear water real visible water the fish can see you you want to stay far away from the the area that you're fishing you know the piece of structure cover whatever you're fishing that longer rod you can get that bait out farther and you don't have to get right up on them with the boat or kayak whatever you may be fishing out of the second reason is the fish ability, the way this thing plays a fish. It's got a real long tip. This is a seven, six, so seven foot six inch rod. Real quick tip, but it loads really nicely in the backbone, the midsection. So when those big fish come up and head shake, they don't throw the bait as easily. It's easier just to lean back on them, let that rod do all the work, give it and go in and wear those fish out. Play those fish a lot longer, a lot easier, with a longer rod. So the two combos that I have for you, again, these are gonna be technique specific rods. Down below in the video description, I will link some different budgets, some different price point rods, because honestly, any of your favorite worm rods will work for this technique. But if you guys are looking for a specific Ned Rig setup, these two combos that I got for you are killer. This is actually the Mega Bass Destroyer Felissa, again, seven foot six, very light tip. So this is, I'm actually throwing um, 10 pound braid to five pound fluoro. Very finessey setup. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie a braid to leader knot and I'm gonna run 12, 15, 18 foot of fluorocarbon leader, tied off to my favorite, this is my favorite favorite Ned head. This is the Swagger Tackle. It's actually tungsten, real stout hook in it, and I have that paired up with a, uh, this is a Robo Worm. One of my favorite colors is called Desert Craw. I'm gonna get into this stuff in just a, in just a sec. But the rod and reel setup, again, the, the Mega Bass Destroyer Felissa, it is a phenomenal light bait rod. rod. You could use this for hair jigs if you wanted. It's just got that longer length, that longer reach, and it plays those fish really well. Very sensitive tip, and you can really pick up on those bites when those fish just suck up your bait. You know, sometimes, especially in this colder weather, this winter time, you're not gonna be hopping this bait along. I'll get into how to fish it in just a little bit, but you're not gonna be hopping it very active. You're not gonna make this thing all erratic or whatever. You're mainly gonna be dragging, pop it a little bit, drag, pop it a little bit, and a lot of times those big bass just come up and just suck that bait in. So all you're gonna feel or all you're gonna see is that rod just load up just a little bit. You might not even feel anything, but with the longer rod, you get to see that deflection, 
that the way that rod tip bends, you can see it starting to load before you actually fill the bite. So that is another benefit to having the longer rods. You can see that that rod tip loading. Anything that's just a little more than what your bait, what your little eighth ounce or sixteenth ounce bait weighs, you're gonna feel it, and that's gonna detect it. That deflection in this rod, especially these two. Next combo I'm gonna give you. Thing is dynamite. This is the 902 Conquest. This rod, again, it's a seven foot six, two power. So real light tip, loads really deep in the backbone and plays the fish very well. I have both of these rods paired up. This one's actually paired up with a Shimano Stella. That's the only one I have and it is awesome. Uh, again, the combos I'm talking about are for technique specific. You guys are looking to get the nicest nicest Ned Rig combo. A Conquest paired with a, with a, a Stella, or this is actually the, the Destroyer paired with the Accents. These two combos are dynamite. Just like I said, down below in the video description, I will link different combos for the different price points. If you guys are just getting into fishing, any of your favorite drop shot rods, your Senko rod, anything that you take to the pond will actually work for a Ned Rig as long as it's typically a spinning rod, and a medium, medium light, light action. So there is gear. Let's talk about the baits themselves, the bread and butter. So let's go ahead and start with the TRD because that is the most famous Ned Rig bait out there. This is the Z-Man TRD. It's made with Elastec material. It floats, it's very, very durable. You can catch multiple fish on one bait. You know, you, if you super glue, super glue this onto your head, uh, you can catch 20, 30, 40 fish on one head. It just lasts that long. The difference between this and some of the other Ned Rig baits, this, like I said, is that Elastec material and it also floats. Benefit to this, if you're fishing in a little bit warmer water, springtime, summer, fall, you want, you're gonna want more action to that Ned Rig, to that bait. You're, you're gonna want to be hopping it, fishing it more radically, but when you stop and pause it, it's gonna sit up and wiggle in the current. That is a must have. Quick little note, any of these TRDs, any of these Elastec baits do not play nice with other plastic baits, so don't put these in a Plano box or your favorite box next to your other baits because they will melt together. Uh, your best bet is to take all of your baits and put them in some kind of bag uh, like I do. I showed you guys on that last storage video, that um, buyer's guide for storage. Get yourself a worm bag like that and just put all your, all your baits in there. That way you don't have to worry about them melting each other. So keeping with the Z-Man real quick, I wanna talk about two other ones you guys should definitely try out. This is the, the Craw, the TRD Craw. Same deal with the TRD, except for it is a little creature bait. Couple little tentacles on there and uh, just changes up the profile. Looks like a little, little uh, crawfish, cray, crayfish, crawdad, however you guys wanna pronounce it. But uh, there's been days when I've had to switch up from the traditional TRD and go with something with a little more, a little more action on the tentacles. This is the Ticklers. So these are the three that I recommend from Z-Man. This is the Ticklers. It's your, it's your traditional TRD, but it's got tentacles on the top. So if you wanna put a little more action to your TRD, go with these guys right here. Next one up. This is gonna be the Robo Worm. This specific color, I have two specific colors I want you guys to try. Uh, the benefit with going with Robo Worm is you get a ton of color selections. I think they got 40 or 50 or 60 colors. You guys can check out. But um, Robo Worm in general just has fantastic colors to match whatever fishery you're in. Now this one specifically is called Desert Craw. Now this specific color, I have fished out here in California, Pacific Northwest, down south, Florida, 
and up in the Midwest on the Great Lakes and caught them everywhere on this color. Again, it just looks like, it looks a lot like, it just looks a little like a lot of things. You know, this is kind of a green pumpkin color. It's got a purple vein in it, orange belly. It just catches them. The other color I wanna show you is a, it's actually a Tackle Warehouse exclusive color. It's a green pumpkin with a blue flake in it. This was actually called TW Black Blue Pumpkin. So kind of a watermelon green body, belly, some uh, green pumpkin, and then some dark blue flake on the top. Now I typically keep my colors fairly simple. If the water is clear, I'm gonna go with something that's a little translucent, a little see-through. If it's uh, stained, I'm gonna go with something a little more contrasty with some black or blue in it, a little darker, more solid colors. And then also if it's sunny, I'm gonna go with those more natural, translucent, transparent colors. And if it's cloudy, I'm gonna go with something a little more contrasty, so real easy. The last two I wanna talk about, and then I wanna talk about heads real quick, cause that is a key feature. This is the Missile Baits. <clears throat> this is the Ned Bomb, and this color is called Fishalicious. It, it's a electric shad looking color, but it works a lot of places. Kind of a ghosty color, has some purple flake in it, some blue flake, but the difference with the Missile Baits is it's got that little kind of beaver style tail on there gives a lot of action. Again, for this buyer's guide, this is not bait, these aren't just baits that'll work right now in the cold water months. Uh, these are baits that'll work year round and throughout the country. So definitely get you guys some of these. These are awesome, adds a lot more action to your traditional robo or TRD worm. The last bait that I wanna share with you guys is gonna be the X-Zone Lures. Now this bait, we've done, so we've done underwater videos of different techniques, right? And we actually did a complete underwater video of some really popular Ned baits. And uh, this one really stood out to us. Again, this is the X zone. As you can see, it's still got that kind of that traditional TRD style body, but it's got a little fatter head uh, up here. Little fatter air, uh, like an air pocket. And uh, it just adds more uh, motion to your, to your bait. Again, you want to be different. If you guys are trying to trick these finesse fish into biting, you want to be different and you want to be able to entice them. You know, the difference with Ned Rig fishing and, and a lot of other techniques is typically you're fishing slow, but the fish have a lot of time to examine these baits. So these baits um, are, are baits that we've caught, Matt and I have caught fish throughout the country, a lot of different types of fisheries and we have a ton of confidence in. The last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the actual Ned heads, cause there is a lot on the market. My number one favorite Ned head is actually called the Flanders head by Swagger Tackle. Uh, kind of funny, the Flanders, Ned Flanders. Those of you guys that grew up watching The Simpsons, you, you'll understand the reference, but uh, it is a tungsten head. So the benefit of tungsten, just like in any technique, you get a smaller profile with the same weight. Tungsten weighs more than lead, is also more dense than lead, so you get a lot more sensitivity. A, a technique like this, a bottom technique where you're dragging or you're hopping, you get a lot more feel with what's going on if you can fish tungsten. If you guys cannot uh, afford that little jump up in price because they are a little more expensive than lead, check out the owner blockhead, it's owner's uh, technique specific, their Ned head, and then also Z-Man has their TRD, their mushroom head, and that comes in two different styles. Comes in a light wire and a little heavier wire if you want to throw it on a light bait caster or jump up and throw a bigger TRD, you can get away with that stouter hook and fish it on a bait caster. But there it is, guys. That is the last buyer's guide in this entire series. We wanted to cover the Ned Rig because it is one of the most important and probably one of the hottest talked about finesse fishing techniques today. We've got a ton of confidence in it, like we said before, caught a lot of fish doing it, and uh, don't overlook it like I did. You know, in the beginning, like I said, I was a little hesitant to kind of 
try it out, but it works. That real finesse approach really gets those fish going. As far as fishing them, I almost forgot. Cold weather months, cold water months, fish them slow. You're gonna drag, hop, drag. If you guys are think you're working the bait too slow, work it a little bit slower because these fish are gonna start being lethargic unless you're reacting, getting them to react and eat out of their natural instincts, slower the better. Now as the water warm, warms up, as we move into the springtime, early summer, start getting erratic with that bait. Fish it with a heavier head, hop it. Get that thing dancing up, on the, off, of the, up off the bottom, you know, like a bait fish or a crawdad. Get it hopping, let it fall. Reel it, pop it, let it fall. Another tip you can do if you're fishing right now, throw it out there, let it fall, and never hop it at all. Instead of just dragging it, just reel it. Quarter turns of the handle, half turns of the handle, get that bait coming towards you, and just lift your rod tip, and it'll kind of change the direction of that bait. A quarter turn of the handle, work it very slow, and look at that rod tip. Look for that bow in that rod tip. If you feel anything different, anything heavier, reel down, and, and load up on them, set the hook because those are fish. Again, that is the Buyer's Guide series. We appreciate all the recommendations from you guys. Um, the whole purpose of doing these videos is to make it easy for people shopping for you, easy for people shopping for fishermen because we all know, I know myself, my wife, I am impossible to shop for, especially with fishing stuff because I want certain things and that is what these buyer's guides are for. So share it with your loved ones, share it with your friends. Everything will be linked down below in the video description so you can share it with them. They can click on the links, it goes right to the exact product. I will link my favorite colors in these and you guys will be all set. One other thing, you guys have noticed Matt and I have been wearing the new AFCO hoodies. This is going to be our new clothing line and it should be dropping on Tackle Warehouse very shortly. We got some samples in and uh, very excited. The Shadow, the Reaper, they are so awesome. You guys, if you guys haven't tried out any of the AFCO products, um, very excited to, uh, to choose to work with them and, and have them do our clothing because super warm. If you guys have had any of the AFCO stuff, you know uh, it's just top notch. And the best thing for us, AFCO as a company, uh, they care about conservation and they give 10% back of their entire earnings profits for the year back into con conservation and special product projects and that just means the world to Matt and I. So uh, you guys that have been email uh, emailing, we got hundreds of emails, you guys have been seeing these in the last few videos, they will be here shortly. We're, we were trying to get them here before Christmas, I don't know if, if uh, they'll be shipping before Christmas but uh, as soon as they are available at TW, we will send you guys the notification. We'll send you a link um, in the emails, and then we'll also include a link down below in the video description so you guys can check those out on future videos. Uh, hats, we still have a ton. Uh, you can email us at tacticalbassinapparel at gmail.com and we'll take care of those. We can get those out to you before Christmas, and hopefully we can get these going as well. As always, guys, we appreciate you. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Now that we're getting away from these buyer's guides, we're getting away from the holiday season. You know, we're, Once we kind of get through Christmas, we're going to jump right back into on the water teaching and sticking some fish. So uh, we appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you soon.